What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's your boy, Goblin, and today we're coming in with a hoot and a holler. A nice banger of a story. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Drop a like if you do. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Listen, man, we just hit 350K. That's a big number. That's a that's a huge number. 350,000 people. Dude, an eighth of hundred thousands. That's a lot, bro. That's big numbers, all right? Huge. Thank you guys so much for that. If you're not subbed yet, you're honestly out of your mind. You're tweaking, you're off your rocker, and you shouldn't be here, all right? Thank you guys for tuning in. Drop a like if you enjoy. Also, cop some merch linked in the description. Let's dive right in the video, baby. So, this happened in my fateful summer where I went to summer school. Some of you guys who have been around for a while might recall that I made a little mini-series talking about summer school, but I never actually finished it. And this was towards the very end of my time in summer school. On this particular day, we had a final coming up. We had maybe like two more class periods, including our final day left, like in the entire class, right? So we didn't really do much in class on this day. And Sam and I, you know, Sam sat at my table. We're sitting there and we're trying to figure out what to do later. The kind of general consensus is most of the people in our class were going to the library that was like right next to our school to go study and fuck around, you know? And we had nothing better to do. So we were like, yo, dude, you want to just go to the library too? Like, let's do some shit. Sam, you know, he was a little hesitant. And honestly, I just threw it out there because I had nothing better to do. But there was a girl in our class that Sam was very interested in, dude. He he was intrigued by this woman, dude. He'd talk about her all the time, honestly. And she was going to the library. We heard word that she was going to the library. And once that got around to us, it's over. Yeah, we're going to the library. 100%. So, of course, you know, we're, we're getting ready to go. We get let out of class a little early because our teacher, he had fuck all to give us. And he was like, you know what? Just go study, dude. Get the hell out of here. So we get let out a little early and we're like, fuck it. You know, let's just go to the library. Tony, you know, normally he'd roll with us on these kind of adventures, our summer school shenanigans, but he had no interest in going to the library. He didn't really care about the girl that was going. I was just kind of there because I was bored and had nothing to do. So I was like, you know what, dude, I'll go to the library. We had a little bit of weed as well. So, I mean, how bad could it be? So we go once class gets out and we hop in my car and we drive literally five seconds to the library. I'm talking like you can, you, when you get in my car, like you could see the library. It's, it's literally right there. So we drive five seconds across the street and park up at the library. And before we go in, we decide to smoke. Now, me being me at this point in my life, I always stayed prepared with some blunts, so of course I bust out the pack and we match on some bud, you know? Sam, he always came to school with some sort of drugs on him, whether it was pills or whether it was weed. He came with the party kit today, but we'll get to that. So we end up matching on a blunt and we smoke up and all's fine and dandy. I'm nice and baked and we hotbox the hell out of my car. And at the time back then, I was still driving my old Honda, the, the old Accord, which there's many old, old OG stories in that car. But that thing was probably the best car I've ever owned for hotboxing because I had the two-door Accord. So it was really tiny in there. Like it was very cramped. Riding around with four homies in that thing was actually a nightmare. It was terrible, dude. But it was amazing the hot box and we box the hell out of this car so we smoke up we get nice and ripped and we stink like weed and we hop out of the car and go inside of the library now i remember in particular we had some pretty good weed dude i didn't have the greatest but sam busted out some pack dude i remember so i was high as hell dude we walked into the library and immediately when you walk in there's like a little cafeteria area you know it's not like actually a cafeteria it's just like three vending machines and some tables but we immediately beeline directly to that shit and completely forget the objective we're no longer interested in going here and trying to mack on that girl i'm not here and trying to wingman for sam no we're stoned we're at the library there's good air conditioning and it's like the end of july let's go boys you know that this is good so we got i don't know if it was end of july i don't know dude either way it was fucking hot that's all that matters so we go over to the vending machines and we ball dude we splash we got good snacks a little bevy you know how it goes speaking of a bevy dude i'm i got this ice cold you know water sitting in front of me and it's looking at me the right way i'm gonna take a sip dude if you guys have a drink hey take a sip of your drink right now Ooh, oh a hydration moment dude Holy shit, that just banged. All right, back on topic. So, 
We go over, we have our little hydration moment in the library, you know? We get our drink, we get our snacks, and we're bussing, dude. And we walk around downstairs for a little bit, just kind of, you know, strolling around with no real plan or objective or direction. And Sam, you know, once we get over, kind of in between the aisles of all the books and away from everyone, this man pulls a bar out of his pocket. And I'm like, Sam... Why, why have you not told me that you have bars? And he's like, oh, well, this is the only one I have. At this point in my life, I, hey, I had just recently tried Xanax, right? So I was down as a clown, you know? I was like, dude, let's do this, right? Like, let's 100% do this. He's like, okay, well, I mean, if you want, I could call up my plug. But like I said, I only have this one bar on me, so it's not really enough for both of us. So I'm like, dude, Say less. I count me in. I'm all I'm all in. Okay, I'm all in, Sam. So he calls up his plug and he's like, dude, he'll come deliver to us, like right now. I'm like, bet, say less. Do we get to hang out here? We'll get barred out. No problem. So we're sitting down in the library, and at this point, I'd only done Xanax like once or twice, if I remember correctly. Not many times at all. So I was a, I was a little antsy about this, but I was excited at the same time. At this point in my life, the only drugs I was really doing was alcohol, if you count that, weed, if you count that, and DXM, which is just an absolute degenerate high school drug. You shouldn't do it once you graduate high school, or drop out, whichever one, all right? Just don't do it past high school age. That's a pro tip right there from a drug addict, career drug addict. Either way, so... We're waiting for the barman to come through, and I'm getting pretty excited. I'm like, okay, okay, this is going to be fun. And I planned on just grabbing two bars. Sam was grabbing two with me. He was thrown in as well. So eventually, Zan Man pulls up, and this man just walks right into the library. I was expecting, like, oh, yeah, we'll go out, you know, Sam will go out to his car or something with the money. No, dude, this guy comes in the library. Sam's like, we're sitting there. He's like, oh, dude, I think he's here. And we're, like, sitting on the first floor, and this guy walks in, and Sam just fucking flags him down. I'm like, yo, what? Like, like he's coming in to serve? Like, I mean, bet, like, whatever, but this is kind of, this kind of fucked. Like, there's a Dr. Seuss book, maybe five feet away from me, and there's small children that might read that later, and we might get Zan residue on it, but, I mean, I get, that's their problem, not mine, you know? So, Zan Man comes through, makes the serve. He, you know, I'd never met the man before. I had no clue who this guy was, but I introduced myself. I said hello. We don't need to give that guy a name. It's the only time I ever saw that man in my life. So, Zan Man leaves the library after, after completing the serve. And now we're ready for some shenanigans. We're ready to rumble. So we're walking around a little bit, and we go upstairs, you know? Upstairs is where the goodies are at at this library. Downstairs, you know, they got the vending machine, yeah. They got the, the kids' books, yeah, whatever. It's a good secluded area to, to take your Xanax, I guess. But upstairs is really where everyone's kicking it. They got the computers. They have these little conference rooms that you can rent out for free. Like, you can just put your name down and go in there, and you get it for, like, I don't remember how long it was, but it was a long time. It was like an hour or two at a time. I think it was two hours at a time. It was like really, really good, right? So these conference rooms were fire. And everyone, like, if if a bunch of people from school were at the library, like, people would for real beef over the, the conference room. Everyone would, like, run directly into the library and, like, sprint upstairs to, to secure a room for their homies, right? It's like a little post office. It's a function. It was a function, right? So we get up there, and obviously all the conference rooms are taken, and we're like, fuck, dude, like, what do we do? We should just get in the queue for one. So we sign ourselves into the queue for one, and the lady's like, oh, yeah, I think those people will be out of one in, like, uh, 30 minutes, you know? Just uh, just wait a little bit, and once you see them leave, you can go get it, right? So we're like, bet. But this library's competitive, dude. And whenever, like, like, your conference room will get sniped at this place. It happened to me many times at this place, dude. Other people will just walk in without signing up and just quick scope your conference room. And then it creates a problem, and you gotta beef, and then you gotta go get the employees. It's just, it's, it's a nuisance, dude. It's a pain. So we go, and we're like, alright, we got at least 30 minutes to blow. Old lady, librarian, shorty said so. Let's get absolutely barred out of our minds, right? So we go into the back corner of the upstairs area. We have completely forgotten our objective of finding the girl that Sean is trying to get with, right? We go over to the kind of back little secluded area, and there's this, like, this table on the left-hand side next to the conference rooms that, like, has a window where it overlooks the first floor. And if you go all the way down that table, at the end, there's, like, an emergency exit, and the view of it is blocked off by the table and then also by other bookshelves, right? It's the perfect area. So we go all the way back there, and immediately, we're bussing, dude. I pop a bar, 
Sam pops a bar, and he already popped his first one downstairs. I think I forgot to mention that earlier, but the one he pulled out of his pocket, he already took. So this man's now two bars deep, and I've just taken my first one. Sam, being the absolute monstrosity that he is, proceeds to take his other bar. So he's now three Zans deep in the span of like maybe 30 or 40 minutes. Not enough time for them to really hit him at all. I don't even know if he was feeling the first one yet. Like it, it was that quick, right? So he pops that and I'm like, well, shit, dude. If Sam did that, I got to send it with him. You know, like I got to get off my rocker. So I pop my second bar. And now I'm in for a ride. I'm in for a roller coaster. Sam is three bars deep. I'm two and we're ready to rumble. So we chill in this little corner for a little bit longer and we get out of there. We kind of walk around for a little bit trying to figure out what to do. And we sit on the computers eventually, right? We got this good angle where we can be on the computer and still see the conference room. So we could get up in there and start chilling, right? So we're on the computers for what felt like maybe 20 minutes, but in reality, it was a lot longer because we played a whole ass game of League, dude. I remember I was talking to Sam and I was like, yo, have you ever played League of Legends? Because I was trying to figure out what we could do on these computers. And he was like, no, like, what the fuck is that? So I was like, bro, let me put you on. So we get League downloaded on these computers, right? I sign him up, I get him an account, and we're playing fucking bot games. I'm showing him the game, and he actually likes it. I think he still plays, I'm pretty sure. But this was like the day I put him on the league. We're sitting there. I don't play the game anymore, but this is this is like five years ago when the game is still decent, right? So we're chilling out, and we're we're grinding, dude. We're having the time of our lives. And time was flying. We played like, I, I, I might have even been like two bot games. He played for a solid amount of time. But we played for enough time for the bar to slap me in the face, dude. I remember I'm sitting there and I just get completely lost track in time, dude. I lose track of everything to the point where we're no longer paying attention to the conference room. Luckily, the old lady librarian comes over to us. She saw us sitting down. She's like, hey, your conference room's available now if you want to go in there. We're in the middle of a league game, but obviously we're not going to miss our conference room. We've been waiting for this shit, and the bar just hit. So we're like, yo, let's go, right? We go into the conference room, and I'm feeling good. I'll admit that these were definitely not real bars by any mean, because if they were real, this too should have rocked me. I'd only done Zans like twice. But I was I was pretty barred, I'm not going to lie, but I've taken two bars with a much higher Zan tolerance that hit me way harder than these did. So these were some pretty mid presses. But Sam, on the other hand, I don't know if that third did something to him or what. This man was sent. He's talking slow. We get up in the conference room and he's like, bro, I'm fucking lit right now. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, yo, let's play some music or something. You know, like, let's, let's get lit. The glass in these things was thick as hell you could bump music all you want it was actually allowed like they told you it was allowed right you could do whatever the hell you wanted really in these rooms so we're bumping some music we're chilling there i remember i pull up a youtube video on my phone and we've lost the plot of finding this girl but eventually as we're sitting there we we were in the conference room for maybe 20 minutes just enjoying the barred out feeling feeling good feeling mellowed out our bodies are just loose feeling almost like a pillow we're just a pillow with limbs you know but eventually shorty walks past we'll call her ashley the classic name ashley walks past and it's target acquired for sam dude holy shit i i've never seen a man get erect so quickly not trying to be sus but this man was hype when she walked past he was like yo yo we gotta it's ashley bro like ashley's right there and i'm like my man you should, like, invite her in here or something. You know, we got a conference room. Bitches love conferences. Like, invite her in, bro. So he gets up and he fucking... <laughs> he, gets, he gets up and he stumbles out of the room, bro. He tries his best getting out of the room. And he's sent. And normally in this situation, I would know that something's about to go bad and I would feel it in my stomach. You know whenever you're third wheeling a really awkward situation and you just get that... I don't know how to describe it. Like, it's not really butterflies, but just that discomfort. Just that, like, you're almost, you start cringing, you know? But I was barred out, so I never at any point felt that during what was probably one of the most awkward encounters I've ever witnessed. So Sam comes back, and she's following him. He comes back through with her, and I'm like, yo, nice pull, Sam. You got her in the conference room. Now you just got to spit a little game. She's going to love it, dude. You know, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, nice, dude. Sam's got this for sure. We're focused on the prize now. So she gets in and Ashley, I like, I didn't really, 
I, I didn't think this through, I'll say that much. She was not like us at all. This girl, like, yeah, okay, she was she was decent or whatever, but she did not do drugs. If, like, she does not like Xanax, she would not do pills. I don't even know if she smoked weed. I'd never really hung out with her. I barely knew the girl. I just knew that we went to school together. That's about it. I think I'd had, like, one or two classes with this girl before. But Sam is damn near head over heels for this chick, dude. He's always talking about how fine she is and all that. And she, you know, she's decent, but every guy's got his taste. So I'm here to support Sam, right? So she's sitting in the room, and Sam's just like, oh, like, what are you doing here? And she's, like, studying for the test. Like, isn't that what you guys are doing? And Sam is just making the most, the most minute, worthless conversation ever. And eventually, I just chime in. I don't know what drove me to do this. And I feel guilty, because I probably blew it. But I was like, yo, Sam really wanted to tell you something. And I, this... (laughs) This was not discussed with Sam. I did not say a word to Sam about this. I, 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 dude, I feel so bad about this looking back. But be, I was just barred. I was barred. I was feeling reckless. I was like, I'm, dude, I'm alley ooping. I hope Sam dunks it. So I was like, yo, Sam wants to tell you something. And she's like, she looks at me and she's like, what? And I'm like, well, Sam, I mean, I feel like Sam should say it, you know? And I look over and this man. He, he looks at me and he smiles and I figure I'm like, yo, he's got this, bro. He's going to like, he's going to know I'm alley-ooping. He's going to ask her out. He's going to tell her she's cute. Something simple. It's going to go well. Instead of either of those things happening, Sam looks at her and listen, I, Sam's a very blunt man, but Sam off three Zans, Sam, I am, if you will, looks at her and he says directly to her face. I've been trying to fuck you for so long, and she has had enough. She looks, and she goes, what did you just say? And Sam is like, Sam doesn't say shit. He's just looking at her, and I'm like frozen. I'm like, holy shit, dude. I, I, as barred out as I was, I felt that one, dude. I was like, holy shit. And mind you, I believe I've told this story on YouTube, but this is the same guy who looked a different Ashley in her eyes. Yeah, in his apartment, mind you, while she's sitting at the dining room table, looked her dead in the eyes and said, so you don't want to fuck me tonight? With no, no, like, previous flirting or anything. A girl that he'd barely known, right? He said that, too. So he has a track record of just being so absurdly blunt with women. It is, it is one of the funniest, it's my favorite thing about this guy, honestly. So he says that, and I'm like, holy fuck fuck dude like what like I can't believe it but at the same time I I gotta go with it so I'm like yeah you know like for sure like yeah like what do you think Ashley (laughs) and she fucking she just dips out of the room bro she is gone dude she's absolutely gone so she's fucking out of there Fine and dandy. We think it's just a failed mission, right? We're like, okay, it's just a failed mission. You know, whatever. We're barred out. We're laughing our asses off when she walks out. I look over to Sam and I'm like, Sam, how, like, what is wrong with you, bro? You can't say like, and Sam's just laughing. Sorry. He's like, man, I fucked that up, huh? But at the same time, I, I should have known better, bro. I, that was really on me, dude. I should have known better than to than to trust Sam with the alley oop off three Zans, dude. But I I tried my best for him. So we thought the situation was over at this point. We were like, okay, Sam blew his shot. Whatever. We have two more days in summer school, and then we're not gonna see this chick really barely because our school has a shitload of people in it. So we'll never really see her in normal school, right? But then, in comes a man who I didn't know. Turns out he went to a different school. But he comes into the room, and it turns out that this is Ashley's boyfriend, and he's not happy, dude. He comes in, he's like, all right, he, he's he's acting big macho man fucking Brock Lesnar. He walks in, he's like, oh, oh, which one of you said you wanted to fuck my girl, dude? I'm, I'm like, yo, man, we're still laughing. And when he walks in, we just start laughing even harder. And that gets him mad, because this, this guy comes in, I swear to God, he looks like fucking Popeye, dude. Like, his, like he's got veins about a pie. He's so mad, bro. He's like, he's like, which one of you said you want to fuck my girl? But, like, no. No one else came over. It was just him who came in. So we're we're sitting there and we're like, yo, dude, just relax, man. Like, chill, you know, we're we're just chilling. We didn't realize she had a boyfriend. I'm kind of speaking for Sam, because Sam is just sitting there and he's just like, yo, he's he's just saying, yo, over and over. He's like, yo, 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 dude. What the fuck? So I'm like, yo, we're sorry, man. We didn't know she had a boyfriend and stuff. 
We're just trying to kick it at the library today. And fucking Popeye over here is just mad as hell, bro. He's like, yeah, you fucking, you better be sorry, man. You can't say that shit. I'll fuck you guys up. And we're like, yo, dude, we're chilling, man. We're just a little barred out, man. We're trying to have a good time. And eventually the situation kind of de-escalates, probably because he realized that we're both fucked out of our minds, dude. We're a cent. So this guy, you know, it, it de-escalates pretty quick. I was, honestly, when he first walked, I thought he was just gonna swing, dude. I was like, I almost got up out of my chair. I remember I grabbed the arms of my chair and, like, was ready to, like, push myself up. I was like, holy shit, dude. We, here, it's combat, bro, you know? But luckily, de-escalated a little bit. Ended up talking to the guy. I was like, who, like, what's your name, bro? You know, like, I don't remember the guy's fucking name. We'll just call him Dude Johnson, bro. Who, Popeye. We'll just call him Popeye. So I'm, I'm, I asked Popeye, I'm like, yo, dude, like, what school do you go to? He tells me he goes to the other school in our district. I'm like, oh, okay, that's why I don't know who the fuck you are, you know? We kind of chill out, and I'm like, yo, you know, we're sorry, man. It's all good. Uh, we didn't mean to try to fuck your bitch, you know? Uh, sorry about that. And he's like, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's cool, man. Uh, just, you know, don't like, don't be saying that kind of stuff to her again. So we're like, oh, yeah, you know, okay, sure, man, no problem. So he walks out of the room, and at this point, we're like, okay, dude, I think our, <laughs> I think our time at the library is expired. So we're saying... <laughs> And we're trying to figure out what to do with the rest of our day, right? We walk downstairs in the library, and it, I swear to God, it, it it's like this whole day was planned out by God, dude. It's like the whole day was planned out by Jesus himself. We go downstairs, and lo and behold, Michael is at the library for some ungodly reason. Turns out, he was drug dealing too. He was doing the same thing as Sam's and man. Michael was fucking serving someone some weed. So we're like, yo, Michael, dude. What are you on right now, man? Like, come link with us. We just got yelled at by some chick's boyfriend, Ashley's boyfriend. He's like, oh, yeah, dude, let's link. I just fucking longboarded over here. Like, let's get out of here. So we all hop back in my car. And, of course, Michael being the only non-barred one, I'm like, Michael, dude, I know you don't have an L's, but just take the keys. And he's like, dude, I live across the street. I'll just go park my shit in my driveway. So we all three of us rode on over to Michael's house, and it was a fucking hoot, dude. We get to Michael's house, and I'm coming down off the bars. We didn't have any more left, but we had Bud left to go around. So we were smoking up, chilling out at Michael's, having a hoot of an evening, man. This was, honestly, out of all the videos that were, like, old Summer School Chronicles episodes, if you guys recall that series, that never got posted... I think this one was probably the most banger story. This one was a hoot. But either way, let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, boys.